Give me one second. I have to uh, get something to drink here. Yeah, so, <laughs> and again, I was posting some of this stuff in the um, group, so, because I knew once we go through the slide, you guys probably, man, I want, where did that go? So I just put it in the group. That's the whole reason why we got the group for things like that. We can share documents and stuff like that. So if you want any of this stuff or see any, see any things that you need here, they're there. So, so the interview process, these are some of the, um, Things you want to think about. I'm not gonna read all of it, but we could just kind of. I'm gonna just kind of give a uh, brief overview of what it looks like in my interview, my personal interview process. I think that the interview process that I feel that works the best. Um, I guess I could share a little bit about how it was prior to COVID and how it is now. We try to do the best we can um, to keep it, you know, the way it was. Obviously, we can't do group interviews anymore. We used to. I used to really like group interviews because I can really. Uh, you know, we could really kill a lot of uh, birds with one stone. Um, so, and you can't do a group. Um, I guess you can do a group Zoom interview. I just didn't think about that or even consider that at this point, but we still want to do, we all, we still also try to keep multiple steps in place. And my personal thinking with the multiple steps is just to kind of weed out people who aren't serious. Cause that's the only, that's the number one thing <clears throat> when it comes to, interview on hiring just dealing with people with these caregivers period it's just like we not the ones who aren't who aren't going to stick around who aren't serious or who just have made who might be just in a place in their life where they can't you know hold a job at that level as is or take it as serious as it needs to be taken even though they feel like it's because it's not the highest paying job it doesn't require this the same level of commitment so it's like we know that that type of thinking or mindset is like the, the constant challenge. <laughs> and then also finding the people that are, you know, excited about more than just, again, the money, you know? People really live for being caregivers who, you know, their, their life is just based around helping other people. And <laughs> the more, the longer I do this stuff, the more, more you start to realize that, you know, that's definitely a, a lifestyle and almost like a philosophy, caregiving. Um, <clears throat> So it's, it can get really deep and you just want to make sure you're dealing with people who are in it for that, for, for just good reasons. I mean, everybody's not going to be like super committed, but, you know, you just want everybody to, you know, the people that you hire. And when you start placing them and as a small company in the beginning, like one caregiver going in one, the wrong caregiver, in, the wrong caregiver going into the uh, a client's home can, you know, cost you a client. And that could be like your first or second or third, fifth client, and it could really, it could really affect your income. So it's like, you know, the caregivers are the lifeblood of your company. So they have to be, they have to be put together. You have to be, you know, have great, great relationships with them. You have to have great communication with them. And this is like any other relationship. You just gotta have a lot of uh, great communication. <clears throat> so that's just some, some of the things you wanna think about as you're going through the interview process. Obviously, you're going to be re reviewing the applications and all this stuff here. Again, these are just slides you can screenshot and see again. <laughs> so, um, any questions or thinking or ideas about the interview process or anything at this point or hiring? So your interviews, so you're no longer doing group interviews, are they being done virtually? Yep. Everything is, um, so we do a, a phone interview, Zoom interview, and then obviously if we, if we really like them, we have to meet them in person. So it's like a three-step deal. Mm -hmm. Are you going to talk about training, how that, how that's been adjusted? 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, okay. but that's gonna we talk we're gonna talk about that on 